Sartage. Nothing but Sartage. Our stupid reactions to the events. I'm Corbin. I'm sorry, Todd. Wait, And no, you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. And uh, thank you, buddy, for watching on Patreon. It's out of and follow us on official Twitter account. <gasps> Today, uh, it seems like we've been doing a lot of this. <laughs> oh, there's yeah, it's like another every day, day for uh, Lal Capitan with uh, none other than Saif Ali Khan. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Lal <laughs> Capitan. <laughs> <laughs> Lal Capitan. Why was it Capitan? Why know. isn't it Capitan? I don't it know. Like Corbinized. Uh, Lal Capitan. Ow, I hit my elbow on I the chair. I believe this is an actual trailer. Oh, Those other ones control. I consider a They teaser. were teasers. Right. Uh, but this one is called the final trailer. Uh, so they kind of, a different promotion for this film. Like, it, yeah. Like last week, first teaser. Right. Two days later, neck and cheese. And, and two days later, later, a final trailer. Yeah. Well, saturation. Yeah, maybe. Hey, uh, it comes out on I believe like the twelfth. And let's let's just give some sh let's just give a round of applause for distribution and the studio for not releasing this on uh, October fourth. <laughs> yes, uh, but so far it looked amazing. Uh, this came out. It did not have subs, and stupid baby subbed it for us. You guys are fantastic. Thank you so much, as always. Because uh, the I don't think we can react to these. There are ones so many. Subs. I remember when we first started realizing we needed that and Hey Naz just jumped in and started doing it and now all of you, you know how many things we couldn't react to yeah. if you guys didn't invest your time? You get, we love you. Yeah. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, but uh, let's just get into this one. Channel doesn't happen without you. On a bunch of levels. Here we go. The Revenge, Chapter 3. <laughs> Looks, uh, I'm very happy for Saif Ali Khan, too. Me too, man. <laughs> yeah. that, what's, uh, I don't remember if we saw this in the teasers, if we imd beat it with the runtime. Uh, I don't know. I'll check. I'm uh, hoping it's three hours. Time. This is one I, I can tell. I just want to get submerged. Yeah. The, the world looks epic. Yeah. Uh, it looks really interesting. I don't Story know. looks great. I don't care. There is inspirations from Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't care what you say. 
<laughs> I do not care what you say. I know he's not Jack Sparrow, and I know Jack Sparrow got all of his stuff <laughs> from these guys in India. I know that. I know. Not saying anything, but they 100% took inspiration from Pirates of the Caribbean. They were dancing around, around a fire, fire pit. It, it which might is as an well exact have been shot it might as well from Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp and, and Kira Knightley dancing around with the rum in his hand. That is all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> I just need with you a, to know. I knew that was the end all for him. You saw that and it was that was the end. No, no, I no, loved it. As, no, yeah. no, no, as far as saying I can't not say anything. You like right? There's. I know he's not Jack Sparrow. I'm not saying he's Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I know that. I don't want you to be mad. I know <sighs> pirates took everything from these guys right, in India. Right. I know. I know. But they 100% <sighs> took some inspiration from Pirates of the Caribbean. That's all I need to say. You, and, and in this regard, in this regard, 100%, it would not surprise me one bit if the entirety of the production design, the aesthetic of the film, that they wanted to capture the same feel that you have of the, the, the aesthetic and the production design and the art direction, all of it is very similar in a complimentary way. And but that that I knew that one shot that absolutely it was a direct, even the si it was the it was sizing a, of the frame, 100 the distance from shot. frame, the way they were framed in shot, the bonfire, the movement. It was 100 percent emblematic yes. of of, of that again, shot. Not saying anything yeah, about not, it. You please, know what we're saying. You know what we're saying. But it's actually you can't deny it anymore. Yeah. So. That yeah. there was some inspiration. Yeah. Anyways, but he's playing a, the Naga, Naga. How do right. You, how do you say the, it? Naga Sadhu, which I thought from the teasers, mm -hmm. this was just the story of a dad going to avenge the death of his son. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. To me. But I think, based on he said, "What's the job?" I think he's a hitman. Yeah. And now so he's, I think they said they couldn't have kids as well. I okay. think they said these guys don't. Like, they don't have kids. Yeah. So for whatever the thing is, there's a they, he's going after somebody, and it's personal this time. So in other words, he's a hitman, but this job, it's personal. Mm -hmm. I want to know why it's personal. It yeah. looks... Saif epic. looks amazing. He looks so focused and yeah. totally into this character. I'd love to know what kind of actor he is, because if he's full-blown method, he was probably not an, a nice guy to be around during the making of this mm -hmm. film. Uh, probably a really intimidating guy. I'm excited about his trajectory. Uh, I am too, and I'd love the way he approached. I would love to see, and there may be something out there, uh, like here, and we've brought this up before, we have a beautiful, wonderful thing that Variety does, which is actors on acting. And you get two or sometimes four actors who are talking with each other about projects they've done and their approach to things. Everything from the way they go about to creating a role, memorizing a script, or even just stories that happened on set. Yeah. I would love to hear all of these actors. We're mentioning it with Saif Ali Khan. I would love to know his approach. I would love to know different thoughts and how much they take on... Uh, method acting and they, they, they adhere to either Uta Hagen or, or, or Stella Adler or they, they really liked pure just method that like the way that Daniel Day-Lewis does it. I really would love to know the process that yeah. these guys go. Because there's some people like a Daniel Day-Lewis, he is in character 24-7 the entirety of the filming. He, he's extreme. He's 100% extreme. I don't, it works for him. It works for him. Then there's other actors who may do that role to role. Mm -hmm. And then there's other actors who can just turn it on and off. Yeah, they just you say cut and they're out of character. Yeah. Uh, so I'd love to know what he kind of, how he approaches his roles. Yeah, there was a, there was actually an interesting thing I watched with um, Shia LaBeouf. I think he said he's um, method adjacent. Great description. Because uh, he, he he was actually talking about it and he said I actually don't really like um, Stanislavski. Uh, he, he was he's a, too skeletal. He was like he's, he was a failed actor, and he kind of did. I get it. He, he, yeah, he, yeah. It was really interesting. I, I'll, I'll send you the link. I'd love to see. But it. he's like, a, um, I'm, I'm method adjacent. He's like, I'm not Daniel Day Lewis method, right? But also, I'm not. I, I, I do like to be in character. Oh, I, and I surprise myself. Yeah. Um, but he's like, I'm not. Totally I actually, I actually so. saw him a, a week ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was at the at the polo lounge, oh, nice. and he was standing at the door, and and I looked over and saw him, man. Whatever he's working on right now, he got buffed up. He's been lifting. Well, he, he just had two films come out that I really want to see. But okay, anyway, he's, he's lifting. But that's, anyway, that's he was standing there, himself. and what I wanted to do, what I wanted him to do so bad, because he was standing there. Yeah, he was looking angry a little bit. He's just standing, waiting at the door. They brought him a drink, and he left. 
uh, like a coffee or something he had ordered. And he was just standing there. I was waiting for him to just, he looked like he was ready. He was standing there like this. He was just going to go, just do it. And if you haven't seen, what's the song? Uh, it's just called the Shia, the Shia LaBeouf, LaBeouf song. song. Yeah. If you like stupid, crazy weirdness oh, done yeah. art, art artistically, watch the yeah, Shia anyway. LaBeouf song. But yeah, this looks amazing. I'm quite excited for this. this is actually, yeah, really excited. In terms of stuff coming up, this is one of my most anticipated. Me too. And I'm hoping it's as good as it looks. Me too, man. I'm really excited oh, for so Saif. I'm, I'm glad he's... I think this is what he's always wanted to do, mm -hmm. I feel like. Well, and someone I think told me that, uh, or maybe you told me, yeah. that he, he one of the reasons he hasn't been in the consciousness of everybody so much mm -hmm. is because he takes a lot of time off in between films to be with his family, yeah. which... Yeah, hats off to you. Hats off to you. Also, man. he was he was known for his romantic roles. Yeah, and and, I, and but I think this is what he wants to do. It he feels wants to like be it. an actor, actor. Yeah, and that's what he. Sacred Games is now catapulted him into like, oh, he can do all this. Right. And I know he's dead in, in Om Omkara, and a lot of people loved him in that, and so we really need to see that. But yeah, that's Vishal. Can't wait to bring it out of anybody. I really can't wait like for this. Let us know what you thought.